It's a pleasure having you again, my friends, here on Will Edutech. And in this video, we'll be looking at the solutions to question 41 and 42 on the May 2012 CSEC math exam pass paper. And that's your multiple choice paper. Now, question 41 states the heights in centimeters of 10 students are 150, 152, 153, 155, 155, 156, 158, 160, 165, 170. The range is. So really what they're saying here, my friends, uh, they have given us the heights of uh, 10 students and these heights are in centimeters and they're asking us to find the range. Now, when asked to find the range, right, because this is a typical statistics question, when asked to find the range, you're just simply looking for the largest value and the smallest value. In this case, the largest value would be 170. Okay, so I'm just going to circle this 170 here. So that's my largest value and the smallest value is our smallest value would be 150 okay my friends so when asked to find the range you are real the range is and let's let's just make a quick note here range the range is equal to the largest or you could say the biggest okay the largest minus the smallest okay that that's simply what the range is so i'm looking for the largest value now in this case the largest value guys would be Largest value is 170, so I'm going to simply say 170 minus 150. Therefore, my answer is 20. Okay, so the range is 20. So obviously, option B would be the correct option. Okay, and it's pretty much that easy. Let's move on to question 42. Now, in question 42, let's just pull this up a bit. Uh, question 42, it's simply saying here. A bag, let me change my pointer, a bag contains 60 marbles of different colors, but similar in size and mass. The probability of randomly choosing a red marble is 5 out of 12, or 5 out of 12 as a fraction, okay? How many red marbles does the bag contain? So obviously they're asking us to find the amount of red marbles that is in our bag here okay so let, let, let's just do a quick sketch here on the side let's say that this is my bag okay and that's my bag of marbles okay and obviously i would have my bag would be tied okay so i would have for example i would have a bow here okay my bag is tied here okay and then obviously i would have some cloth uh, going in that direction so what this is saying I have a bunch of marbles in this bag okay I have a, a lot of marbles in this bag okay and they have different colors okay doesn't have to be oops sorry okay um, different colors different colors and uh, and some of the marbles are also red so let's just change up the colors here we can have some deeper oranges okay and we also have some green inside here let's drop a few green so what this is saying now i have some red marbles now but i don't know how many red marbles are there okay i'm just gonna be just putting in some red here okay so i have some red marbles but let's say we don't know the amount of red marbles that we do have in the bag so really uh, what they're asking us to calculate is how many red marbles does the bag contain now they gave us the probability my friends okay and let's go back to basics quickly uh, we know that probability probability and I'll put PROB for short probability is really equal to the number of favorable outcome okay favorable favorable outcome over the total amount okay now based on the information that they have given us uh, we can easily substitute some values here because um, if you notice uh, they gave us the probability they said it here the probability of randomly choosing a red marble is five out of six okay so the probability here and if you notice I have probabilities equal to number of favorable over the total okay so since they gave us the probability then I can just simply take my probability that they gave me and substitute it here so I can say my probability is really 5 upon 12 okay 
and that must be equal to now they said that the total a bag contains 60 marbles of different colors so obviously a total of 60 marbles were in the bag so I can say that is equal to something over 60 okay because remember 60 is the total and if you see we have matched that with the total now they're asking us to find how many red marbles okay so we know that a certain amount if you notice here's my bag there are a total of 60 marbles in the bag I mean they are physically if you count them you won't get 60 but uh, this is just representing the information okay so please don't take it literally but w the general idea is that let's say 60 marbles are in this bag okay so the total amount is 60 and we want to know how many red marbles are in the bag okay we don't know so what we're going to do we're going to say let the amount of red marbles be x okay so we could put a x here in my numerator okay which also um what we're saying here since a probability of the red marbles in the bag is x over 60 and they gave us the probability to be 5 over 12 well this statement is true now simply what we can do is just simply transpose for x if you notice we have a fraction here so we could just simply cross multiply okay by saying 12 times 6 and let me just show you quickly we could say 12 times x rather this 12 times that x and we could say 5 times 60 okay since we have a fraction now 12 times x that would obviously give us give us a 12x so we have a 12x there and 5 times 60 that would be equal to 300 but remember in this uh, exam we are not allowed to use the calculator so, so I'm just gonna be showing you a little trick that you could do that you could use to um, to help help out yourselves a lot right since um, I will ha since I'll have to divide through by 12 what I'm gonna do I'm just going to say 5 times 60 I'm not going to multiply that out okay now if you notice I will have to since 12 is multiplying X I will have to divide both sides by 12 so simply what I'm gonna be doing I'm going to be dividing both sides by 12 okay guys so let's divide this side by 12 so 12 will cancel 12 here leaving me with an X okay it's equal to and let's just pull this up a little bit leaving us there with an x is equal to and we have a 5 there and we have a 60 okay so here uh, we can even expand this a little bit more what this is saying this is saying 5 times okay and I could break up 60 into smaller factors so I could say 60 is the same as 5 times 6 times 10 okay and all of that is being divided by 12 and we could break down 12 into factors of 6 times 2 okay and this is a quick way of doing the uh, some basic uh, division so what I'm saying here is 2 can go into itself once 2 can go into 10 5 times okay and I can say 6 into itself once and 6 into 6 goes one time also so really what I'm left with is 5 times 5 and 5 fives is 25 okay my friends so the value of x is 25 hope that was useful to you so our correct answer here my friends would be part D 25. Uh, see you in the next video when we'll be looking at uh, the solutions to questions 43 and 44. Bye-bye.